Hi class, we're nearing the, the end tail end of our course and our science unit plan. This week you'll be adding in materials and resources and the integration of technology. What you're going to do is just fill in that one section of your um, template called material resources and technology. One thing that I um, really liked that some students do is they'll list out each of those areas and they'll give me a list so I can see the difference between each of them. Now the difference between written materials and um, resources is materials are often those things that we hand students and resources are places you can go like for example websites and things like that um, but there is definitely some crossover here and things can get fuzzy because a website would be that could also be technology so you could do a slash there as material slash resources <clears throat> and technology now you're going to want to make sure that what you put in here um, includes relevant materials for that day um, and technology. Technology is part of, you know, us um, utilizing and being able to fully um, integrate kind of that idea of tech. So they do want technology on here. So in my plan, as I was writing all about the moon and observing patterns with the moon, you can see that, you know, um, I wrote science journal on my strategy. Science journaling probably might be a better way to put that strategy. But here, I'm going to make that match. I'm going to have a science journal. Science journal. And then one of my technology think connections is going to be is moon simulation. And I'm going to want to put the link there so I can show you which moon simulation I'm going to use. Remember, we want this to be so anybody could pick this up and teach it themselves. Now, as you go through, you'll be thinking about all of the things that you need to be able to successfully um, do your lesson. So it might be as simple as, you know, paper. I'm gonna use paper. Or, um, you know, for their exit ticket, maybe they need to draw the moon, so they need markers. So it doesn't need to be super extended. It just extensive. It just needs to match each of those areas. And then, um, make sure that you have some technology there. Make sure that some of those resources that you talked about in differentiation are in there as well. So if you said you're gonna use a graphic organizer or a word bank, include those things um, there. So word bank or picture word bank or some of those things you put in differentiation as well. Now, finally, you're gonna support your, summarize your learning and your planning process and choosing um, materials and then you can talk about how you can incorporate technology how would you look at curriculum materials provided by your school or district to make sure that they're appropriate or relevant sometimes i find i have to modify my curriculum because they're giving too much information from students to students and um, not doing enough inquiry so instead of telling them i might ask them so you want to support that reflection with scholarly resources um, and you're almost to the end of your unit plan. Next week is assessment and you're done. If you have any questions, let me know.